everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing it super, super well. By the way, you look absolutely amazing today. So I'm going to be completely honest with all of you. I have actually recorded this episode three times before, so this is the fourth time I am recording it. Basically, if you can imagine what could go wrong, it went wrong. Audio, video, literally everything went wrong. Like if, if something was good on one recording, it would be broken the next. And then once that was fixed, it would be broken the next. And it was just, it was a lot. And so that's why I, I didn't have that episode out as soon as I would have hoped because honestly once you record something so many times you just it burns you out. <laughs> I took a little bit of a break but now I am back and I am hoping that this is going to be our final recording of this episode of Not So Berry and if it if something goes wrong if something goes wrong I swear I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I will do something. But all theatrics aside, today we are hopping into episode eight, I believe, of our not so very mint generation. And in the last episode, our mint gen air, arrow, arrow the air. I'm just realizing that now. But she and her boyfriend, Sydney, had twins. And I actually asked you all in that video who you'd like to see be the rose generation air, because I was going to do it where the firstborn of every gen would be the the next generation heir, if that makes sense. And the first baby was Blaze, who was a boy, and then the second was Poppy. But I asked you all whether you would like to see Blaze or Poppy be the heir, and everyone said Poppy. So Poppy is going to be the heir for Rose Gen. In this episode, we will be aging them up into toddlers, which you've already seen a little sneak peek at their toddler appearance from the thumbnail. But I'm super, super excited to show you what I have planned for our heirs in terms of like distinguishing characteristics that makes them the heir. And I know I know this is a little confusing. It's a little confusing, but once I get into the makeovers, it'll it'll become obvious what I mean. So without further ado, let's just hop into game. If you end up liking the video, please consider leaving a like and maybe even subscribing if you are new, because it would really help me out. And yeah, I hope y'all enjoy the episode. Okay, so we are literally like right where we left off. We have Sydney over here holding little Poppy and we have Arrow over here with little blaze oh god they're so ugly i hate sims 4 oh hi sydney i hate sims 4 babies they oh man okay okay she's kind of cute she's kind of cute i'll give her that yeah why is there a toilet all the way over here what the hell get back but yeah we were not expecting twins genuinely i feel like everybody who does not so bury their rose generation ends up being twins anyway so let's just hop right into gameplay we are literally right back from the hospital and it is currently 1 a.m and i think these two need to sleep because honestly if i just gave birth to twins i'd probably need to sleep but arrow's just sitting here looking absolutely stunning and perfect and like mommy sorry mommy sorry anyway oh where did sydney go oh is he off to clean i swear to god Oh, he's getting some water. Okay, Sydney. Stay hydrated, my man. So actually, I did want to show you one thing. Since we... Do I have a height mod now? Okay, this this is actually like tying like right into what I was talking about. I actually added a bunch of new mods from the last episode. One of the mods that I added was Woohoo Wellness. And Sydney does not want a child right now. If you look right here, it says that he's tense from the new baby. So maybe Sydney is kind of having some second thoughts as a dad. Maybe he's... Maybe he's like not sure if this is like really what he wants. Oh, why does he look like he's about to sneeze? Okay, poor Sydney. Arrow, on the other hand, would be happy to be pregnant. So they have a little bit of conflicting ideas on that. But what I am going to do is I'm going to go into the pregnancy and family and then define pregnancy wish. And I'm going to do fate and time for both Sydney and Arrow. So if they ever decide that they want more kids, they'd have to, you know, discuss it prior and they might not have the same desires when it gets down to it. So that's just what we're going to do. And I just realized, I think that it might be wicked whims. I, I changed out Wonderful Whims for Wicked Whims. Look at the height difference. That was not there before. Why is Sydney so freakishly tall? What? Wait a second. I, I need them to go kiss really, really quick. I just want to see if this is like, is it me or is Sydney just freakishly tall? Like, I, was, I, I didn't expect him to be that tall. I thought he was going to be like maybe like 5'9 to 5'10ish. Arrow, I was thinking like 5'5. Five, five. But if, if Sydney's like freaking like 6 foot five or something yeah he's definitely tall yeah he's def oh he's definitely tall okay they're cute though they're so cute anyway apparently she just failed a prank so that's great is sydney gonna take this well oh he's embarrassed oh, okay why don't you apologize arrow arrow's always out here just 
ruining everything with her mischief. Anyway, she has um, work in eight hours, so I might as well just send her to bed. Oh, he's flirty. From a warm kiss, there's nothing like a kiss to warm you up both inside and out. Okay, that's cute. That's really cute. Okay, so the babies are screaming and oh Jesus Christ, they're screaming. I'm gonna have Arrow go and attend to them. Arrow has reached parenting level two though, so she has that going for her. Okay, Sydney, I think I'm gonna just, yeah, I'm gonna send him to work. Yeah, he's super tense about the babies. Oh, poor Sydney. What is he eating? Some grilled cheese for breakfast. Honestly, fair. Fair enough. I'd do the same. Okay, the babies are good. Why is she still walking around like she's naked? What? She is getting some water though, so. Everyone in this family is just staying hydrated, which is great. Oh, wait, we have the baby with the portraits. The, the, birth, the birth certificates, that's what they're called. Okay, Sydney has work in 12 minutes. I think he's gonna get a promotion today since he's like so far in excellent. I think there's no way he couldn't get a promotion today unless he just like really bombed it. It's Sydney. He's kind of an overachiever. So I don't, I don't think he'd, he'd bomb it like that. She's gonna have some grilled cheese as well, which is cool. Oh, she's super, super flirty as well. Except now he's just tense about the baby. So a little too late. And just a reminder at where we stand with everything. So this is our final like level of the chief of mischief aspiration and we just need to achieve level 10 of the mischief skill which we are on 8 out of 10. We also need to master logic which is on level 9. 4% complete of level 9 so we're getting really close on that and then our elemental display rack we only have one left. We only have one left and then we're done with that which i didn't realize how annoying this would end up being honestly what is she gonna go do play blick block why don't you just um uh, troll the forums or something where is it is it under socialize i keep seeing that come up and i'm like um yeah it's under socialize she really wants to play blick block but i will not let her oh what oh power conservation day mm -hmm. fun that always scares me when that happens oh she did not want to she did not want to troll the forums at all she's like going she wants to clean instead of doing that honestly Honestly, Arrow, honestly. Would it be completely unprofessional of her to send him a flirty text at work? She can't send a flirty text. I guess she'll just send him a text. <laughs> she still just wants to do chores, but we are gonna join her for work. Okay, so we are just gonna be doing some daily experimentation today. Um, Blaze and Poppy are luckily at daycare, so we don't have to worry about that. But I need to find Ace because I need to talk with him. Um, oh, he's over here. He's bald, by the way, because when I cleared out my CC folder, it just it just got rid of his hair because I don't think I downloaded it. So that's unfortunate. But oh, look at these two. Oh, he's so pretty. Look at him. I love Ace. I also need to use the sim ray on a tourist. Don't know about you, but I don't I don't see any um, tourists anywhere. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do like my typical things that I do with the alien thing. Oh, wait, I found a tourist. Who is it? It's, it's Nancy Landgrab. Oh my gosh, Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. I'm gonna freeze right her. Oh, is that Jeffrey? Jeffrey, my man. He just ran right past us. We're gonna go freeze your wife and that, okay. He doesn't seem too bothered, but honestly, I, I can't blame him. Oh, we also need to water a plant. Do I even have any that need to be, oh wait. Yeah, I'll go water that and we also need to tinker with the coffee maker. She's still super flirty. Just looking at Sydney makes her flirty, honestly. Okay, I've got all like the interactions that I need all queued up and I just want to take a moment. Can we just appreciate Arrow? She's genuinely so pretty. I love her. I really want to get all of these work tasks done with because then I want her to go and kind of like dig at all these little things so we can hopefully get some more crystals because I want to complete that elemental display rack so badly. It's so annoying. Hey Arrow, we'd love to have you join a party house. What do you think? No, <laughs> I'm sorry. No, that's not really her thing. <laughs> okay, so we have like two of our bars filled up. I'm gonna, I need to discuss work with him again. And then I'm gonna also ask him for another metal and crystal because you can honestly never have too many metals and crystals in this playthrough. But it wants us to analyze a metal as well. So why don't we go analyze uh podium like i have my eyes open for like a red crystal or metal oh he's okay poor ace um because that was like the little color strip of the one that we're missing so i'm assuming that's what it means oh somehow we just completed like five at the same time that's that's good i guess i'm gonna have her come and dig at all of these now since we have all of our little bars filled up we don't really need to worry too much about doing work stuff we dug up a treasure map? No, go away. I literally do not want a treasure map. 
Sydney has been promoted to a teacher. He makes $38 per hour and got $475 in the teacher's desk. I'm so proud of Sydney. He's so cute. We found a ruby. That's red. Is that the one we're missing though? That's a good question. I also keep digging up these capsules and I'm just gonna sell them all because I cannot be bothered. I literally just got another one. Can you go away? Why am I getting so many capsules? Bro, go away. If I get one more capsule, I swear to God. Okay, so this is not being as successful as I thought it would. Oh, she's doing voodoo all by herself. Okay, I mean, might as well, right? What? She's sad. Voodoo fizzle. What? Wait, we got promoted? I was not- Oh, wow. I was not expecting that. Uh, we make $72 per hour now. We got $384 bonus. We got a test tube pedestal and new clothes. Wow. I was not expecting her to get promoted, actually. I don't even think I looked at her progress, so. Okay, we are home, and for some reason, Natalia Connor is here. What? What is she doing? Why does she look like- drunk uh okay i'm just gonna send all of these to the geo council okay i sent all of those and then i wanted to see what she was like so sad about era's attempt to brighten someone's day through magic has failed and left her dejected oh no oh no that's so sad why don't we go talk with sydney see how his day is brighten his day he's still definitely a little bit stressed about the babies which it's, it's actually really sad but then again, I had no way of knowing that since I didn't add the mod until later. I'm gonna have her summon Julia and then just like grind out some of the mischief interactions because I need to get that up. Oh, her, her, her prank call totally failed. Oh no, she's just so embarrassed about it. Poor Arrow. I like how she's doing the voodoo right in front of Julia at any rate. Oh, I can't have her do- oh yeah, because of stupid power conservation. I forgot about that. And Sydney's coming back down here to clean. He's flirty and he's gonna clean. Oh, power conservation day has ended. That's great. I want to have her go and practice some analysis after she's done eating because since we just got our promotion, we need to get two more breakthroughs, so. Oh, Ace is here. Okay, Sydney, why don't you go invite him in since Arrow's just wallowing in her sadness for a little bit. Ace just phased through a wall right there. Why don't Sydney and Ace just do some talking? Kind of get to know each other. Arrow is so tired. I'm just gonna send her to bed. Oh, we've learned that Ace is a music lover. We love someone who loves music. I wonder if Ace is like a musician. Like, I wonder if he... Okay, he's so cute. Except now he looks drunk. I'm also going to have Sydney go and do some laundry real quick. Why is he holding the plate while doing it? What? Sydney, hun, you don't need to have a plate with you while you do this. I... I assure you, it is not necessary. I need to reset Sydney. He is broken. He is so broken right now. And now the plate's on the floor. But at least maybe now he can actually do the laundry. I'll just take care of the plate for you. And the baby's awake. Oh no. Oh, Sydney. Oh, they're both crying. They're both crying. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna let them cry for a little bit because Sydney is is doing what Sydney does. Where What is Ace doing? Ace is trying to make him feel better. Oh, he's getting along with Poppy. Okay, Sydney is done with the laundry. And by done, I mean, he kind of did it. But now he has two screaming babies. Okay, if you're not gonna change the diaper, then stop. Get out of my way, Ace. I need to change my daughter's diaper. Why don't you go get some sleep, Sydney? <laughs> it's midnight and I think you deserve it, so. Oh my gosh, one of the babies is crying again. Ace, I'm sorry, you have to go home. Arrow, you can wake up and go get the baby. And by get the baby, I mean feed the baby. Ace, go home. Why are you, why are you still here? I'm so ready for these babies to just be toddlers. I should really get going now. Yeah, I think you overstayed your welcome just a little bit. One of the babies is awake. Sydney, it's your turn. You didn't even want kids. Oh no. Oh no. I keep dragging around the toilet. What is he gonna go do? He's gonna go play in a puddle. Oh, Sydney. Oh, there he goes. I'm gonna wake up Arrow so she can do some grinding on the PC. And what I think I'm gonna have her do is send chain letters. Cause that, look at how many people hate her. Oh my gosh. Cause I feel like that really boosts up the mischief skill. So let's just spam some of that. Oh no, the baby's crying again. I can hear it in the background. They never stop crying. Never. 
she is getting so famous from doing this, honestly. She's making so many friends. Pretty soon, like half of the entire town is just gonna hate her. One of the babies is up again. There is never a peaceful moment in this household. Okay, so I've got some of those out of the way. I'm gonna have her do some tinkering too because it says, actually, no. Instead, I'm gonna have her go down and do some analysis because that way it boosts her logic skill and it might help her get a breakthrough. Why is Sydney just standing there? What? Don't you have anything better to do? God, I can't, I can't get over how tall he is. What? He needs to get to level three research and debate skills. So, although I was thinking once the toddler, once the kids are toddlers, I might stop, I might stop following Arrow into work and have Sydney be a stay-at-home dad so he can teach them their skills. I think that's like my idea. And the, there's a baby crying. I swear to God. Wait, our mail has been delivered. Drop everything. Drop everything. Ignore the babies. We gotta go see if any of our elements are. If any of our elements are in here. Okay, we've collected everything. Let's see if any of it goes into our beautiful elemental display rack. Okay, that was a bust. But I guess we'll sell it all. We'll get some money. Which one's the machine that lets me get elements? Is it this? Why don't you go feed the baby, give it some attention, and then go see- Okay, she, there's no way she's gonna get to that in time. It's like almost 10 already. I'm so excited. Wait, it's their birthday today, right? Yeah, it's their birthday. So we can age them up after she gets home from work. I think we'll just do like a little party with just the family. Okay, so we are joining Arrow for work. Okay, so it is daily experimentation again. I need to browse web on the computer. Um, Julia, can you kindly get off? And then we also need to upgrade this. Okay, she just stopped browsing the web. That is literally what you have to do. Wait, why is she so dirty? Oh, that's embarrassing, Arrow. That's embarrassing. Now you just stink. She's feeling insecure though because she's jealous. Okay, we upgraded it. I think, is it done? Why don't you mind control Julia to clean? Wait, what is, what's going on? Why is this like not working? Hello? Arrow's just off doing her own thing. She's just avoiding everything I'm saying. Wait, wait a second. It's snowing! Oh, how pretty. Okay, I it's now upgraded. Because it said it was upgraded before and then it just said no. I'm gonna go ask him for some metals and crystals. Then I'm gonna mind control him to clean. Because that's what friends do. Oh, they're so cute. I love them together. I'm glad she chose um, Sydney instead of Ace in terms of romantic partners. Oh, Nina's here. She stole my computer. Okay, well, that's just not allowed. She's not even doing anything on it. She's gaming. She's a real gamer. How do I get a crystal slide? Place a collectible in the world. Okay. And then collect- Okay, there we go. Oh, she's so embarrassed. <laughs> Poor Arrow. She also needs to pee. Of course she does. She's just kind of a wreck right now, honestly. For some reason, it's just like not working for the browsing the web. So I'm gonna have her get a crystal slide and then go to the bathroom and then also contact aliens. Hopefully she makes it to the bathroom in time because that would just be like the cherry on top if she just pissed herself in front of everyone. She would be so embarrassed. She might actually die from embarrassment. Everyone keeps like using these and like not letting me use them and it's kind of rude, honestly. Invent the cloning machine. Okay, invent the, oh. Wait, I need crystals. Oh, the fact Claudia's hugging her while she's like disgusting. That's a good friend. Okay, she literally just keeps like ignoring everything I tell her to do. Okay, so go do the cloning machine. Cause I think if you complete that, it'll be enough to push over the, the little bar at the top. I think, fingers crossed. Ooh, Sydney brought home $304 and did some superb work. Of course he did. He's Sydney. It's broken? No, you're joking. You're joking. Why can't I repair it? You're joking. You're actually joking. She can't repair it either. Oh, it's because Claudia went to go repair it. Thanks, I guess. I'm gonna go see if I can do that browse web option, except I just browse the art, not the web. That's awkward. She's literally taking so long on repairing this. Oh, there we go. Okay, hurry and go. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Go, go invent it. Come on. You literally have like an hour left. I like how it does. It's just like not even working. That's great. I don't want to stay late because the twins, it's the twins' birthday. Okay, there we go. That's fine. I'm just gonna put that in our inventory. And then what is she gonna go do? I'm gonna go view. Okay, I don't understand Arrow. I genuinely do not. Can we go ask Nina for a medal and a crystal? Come on, Nina. I need, I need my medals and crystals. Thank you. She's, there's no way she's gonna get them in time. 
Oh, she did a fantastic job though. $843. That's a lot of money. Okay, so first order of business is we are gonna send these to the Geo Council. We only got one medal and one crystal that whole entire day, which kind of sucks. But I'm gonna have her go take a shower because she uh, stinks so bad. And of course, poor, poor Sydney. He is so stressed. Oh no, he's gonna go get the baby. Then I'm gonna have him watch some TV. He can choose the channel. An unknown caller. You have been chosen. They will come soon. Okay. I feel like she would be like, okay, come and find me. Like, I don't think that she would be like bothered about that because I feel like that's like the kind of prank calls she makes as well. Why is Sydney getting a call now? Ace Meadows would like to come over. Oh, Ace wants to be here for the, the baby's birthday. That is so cute. Sydney, he's gonna go watch TV. I was gonna see if maybe he wanted to cook something, but I don't think he, I don't think he would. Also, that baby just keeps crying. He just keeps crying. Um, I think I'm gonna age them up though. I'm gonna have Arrow go and invite Ace in to see how he's doing, ask about his day. Okay, he's gonna have to go see what this baby is doing and calm him down hopefully because that baby just keeps crying. It's so sad. So annoying, but so sad. Oh, Arrow's sad too, because since Sydney's so tense, she feels bad as well. But I'm gonna actually have Sydney age him up because I am I am done with babies that just cry all the time. Like, he's crying, but his thing isn't blue. Oh, he's quiet now. But we're gonna age him up and then we're gonna age up Poppy. And Arrow is off doing, I don't know what she's doing. She is listening to a dramatic story. Okay, I don't even think she wants to be in here to watch it. Oh. But here we go. Part of Rose Gen, not necessarily the air, but this is a little Blaze. Oh, he's cute. Look at that little face. He's so cute. Since Blaze is not going to be the air, um, I'm just gonna randomize his traits. So one, two, three. Okay, so he's gonna be inquisitive, cutie. Oh, arrow. Now arrow comes a little bit a little bit too slow, to be honest, but it's okay. Oh, look at Sydney. Honestly, he's such a good dad. Okay, now this is gonna be Rose Jen right here. Oh, wow, she really has purple eyes. That's not quite the right color, but she's so cute. Look at her, I love her. So Poppy, I figured because we're gonna go over Rose Jen's rules in the next episode, but since Rose Jen is very centered around you know, being a serial romantic who also is like really good in politics, I feel like Charmer would be the best. Plus it's also red, which is nice. There's little Poppy, AKA our Rose Gen heir. Uh, Sydney, or er, not Sydney, Arrow is just off in bed. She honestly cannot be bothered. Cuties. So I am going to pop into Cass and we can, if I could type, and we can put on some CC. Okay, so here is what Blaze looks like. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give him red eyes. Where did all these eyes come from? Oh yeah. Okay, never mind. I'm I'm okay. I'm smart. Okay, so I am back. I forgot that I had some mods in my game that um, I didn't need. So now we have all the eyes that I use. But I am going to be giving... I think I'll give him dark red eyes. Since he's not going to be the heir, I'm just gonna give him very red features, I guess. He's not gonna be the heir. So I am gonna mess around with the eyebrow shape because come on, who can who can work with that? I'm gonna put, I think those eyebrows look cute. Oh, he's a cutie. <laughs> just gonna put on some basic skin details. I think I'm going to give him a little bit of freckles, just like his dad. Okay, so this is what I did for his skin details. I'm also gonna quickly find a hair. That makes him look like he has a really big forehead. Ooh, I like this one. And it will be red, of course, because we are on Rose Gen. Although I want to see if I can get some different colored brows for him. Okay, so that is like his face appearance. And I'm gonna quickly go through and do all of the outfits. Okay, so I have gone through and chosen all of his outfits and you will see a theme as we go through these. I wanted to, okay, so since he's not going to be Rose Jen heir, but he's gonna be part of Rose Jen, I decided to make his eyes and hair 
red for Rose, but keep the rest of his clothes mint since, you know, mint gen was the one before, so I thought that would be really fun. But this is little Blaze Berry, Poppy's twin brother. He's so cute. Look at him. He's adorable. And now we are moving on to Poppy, who is going- oh, wow. Wait a second. Okay, they are not identical twins at all. Oh my gosh, they look so different. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> they look so different. That's that's hilarious. So I'm going to give her red eyes. I'll go with these ones. So I'm going to give her red eyes. But what I'm also going to do is I made these custom accessories where I can make them have heterochromia. So I figured I would do that. So she has one rose or red eye and the other is mint for the mint gen that was before her. I'm making this more complicated than it needs to be, but that was basically my thought process. She looks feisty. I mean, she has to be feisty. That's like the whole part of her, her story is that she's feisty. Okay, I'm gonna give her these eyebrows. They're a little bit stronger than her brother's, but I feel like she needs to be feisty. And then I'm gonna give her a lot of the same skin details that I gave her brother. But oh my gosh, she's so cute. Oh my gosh, wow. Look at her, she's such a baby. I think I wanna give her more freckles than her brother. Cause I'm sorry, but I just, I love freckles so much. I was going to try and make her look as similar to her brother as I could. I don't, they look so different though. Okay, so these are all of her skin details done. Okay, she's so cute. <laughs> she's genuinely so cute. Just realized I haven't used anything on this layer. So I'm gonna give her a hairline. And then I already know what hair I'm gonna use for her. This one right here. Just look at how cute she is. Oh my gosh, I am absolutely in love with her. And let's move on to her outfits. Oh, I just realized we did that all on, okay. That's great. Okay, so I'm gonna go through and give her a lot of red outfits. I think actually for her every day, I have to do this one by Story Legacy. I have to, I have to. Oh, she's so baby, I love her. I think I'll give her this dress, which is apparently a base game. And I, I've never, I never knew that. I will give her that. And I want to give her the same pajama set I gave her brother, but I'll do it in this color, even though that's technically pink, but I think it'll be fine. This hat is actually really cute. I wonder, does it have any cool swatches it could use? Ooh, what if I use that one? It's kind of mint, kind of, sort of, a little bit, kind of. Okay, I'll give her this shirt. Okay, that is actually such a cute little outfit. I love that. I am honestly so in love with her and how she's coming out. I think she's so pretty. The stuff that comes with the toddler set is honestly so good. I just wish it was like not in the toddler set and it was like base game because it's so good. I'll use that dress. Little ladybug shoes. And then I already know what full body outfit I'm gonna put her in. It's gonna be this one. Of course it is. Of course it is. So that is going to be our Rose Gen Air little Miss Poppy. She's so sweet. Look at her. Look at her sweet little face. I love her so much. And her twin brother, Blaze, who they are most definitely fraternal twins and not identical twins because their faces have such a difference. Like, just look at that. Like they have the same lips, but their nose and their eyes are different. So that's fun. So let's just pop them into game. And here are the babies in the wild. Okay, I'm literally, oh, hi, hi, Sydney's. Damn. I mean, he, he got a little bit of cake though. Why are her eyebrows gray? Anyway, so there she is in the wild. She has gray eyebrows. She has seen things beyond her years. Uh, here's Blaze. His eyebrows are totally fine. I don't know why her eyebrows suddenly turned into old grandmas, but they did. My game just has this bug sometimes. It happens with Sydney sometimes too. His eyebrows just like turn super, super light. Also, he does not have his heterochromia on right now because he's in his work outfit and the heterochromia, he doesn't have any of his accessories, if I'm being honest. Yeah, those are the babies in, in the flesh, in the wild. And in the next episode, we will start to kind of branch out their personalities a little bit more. I think I'm gonna have Sydney quit his job as a teacher and he's gonna become a stay-at-home dad so he can teach them like skills and stuff and we will probably stop visiting Arrow. Well, I, I, we might actually keep visiting Arrow at work or joining her for work until we get the final element because we need to get as many of those elements as we can because we only have one left. We only have one left. But if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like. It really, really does help 
help me out and thank you so much for being so patient with me on this like i posted that makeover video and i was like i should get it up like in like the next couple days or like the next week and now it's been like almost two months and i'm like but we're here now that is all that matters and yeah thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye a huge thank you to my tier 3 Patreon, Charlene Willis, for the support on the channel. If you would also like to support the channel on Patreon and get early access to all videos, access to exclusive videos, a shout out at the end of every single video, and other perks including a custom role in my Discord server, please see the link in the description for more information.